Welcome back to the channel and in this video I want to try to find out what is the slowest possible plane I can make in trail makers and obviously this is not it uh, I don't even think this thing qualifies as a plane by the standards we're going to be using for this video um, but this idea actually comes from a the video ideas channel in my discord so zappo here suggested slowest plane possible try making the slowest plane you possibly can that can still fly so when i first saw this idea it didn't seem that interesting to me because i'm like just slap some gimbal thrusters on something to essentially make it hover apply the smallest amount of forward thrust to it and you have the slowest plane possible but I think this could actually be a lot more interesting with just some simple definitions and restrictions on what a plane actually qualifies as. So for this challenge, I think a good way to limit this is the only thrust allowed is in the horizontal direction of travel. So we're not allowed to use any gimbal thrusters. We're not allowed to use any upwards facing thrust to try to make our vehicle as light as possible and kind of float in the air. All upwards lift has to actually come from wings and aerodynamics, not propulsion. So that means the only way we are gonna stay in the air is by traveling forward. So now the challenge becomes, what's the minimum speed that we can actually maintain horizontal uh, thrust and altitude? So there's a couple of different ways to approach this. One way is making a vehicle as light as possible so that, uh, well, actually that might not even be the way because that's just gonna get you faster. So I think lift is going to be the big thing. It's not really gonna be uh, weight as much. I mean, obviously weight is gonna affect how well the lift, uh, how much lift needs to happen. Let's do a baseline test here. Let's slap some wings down. You know what, let's just go with the bare minimum for wings right now. So we have I'm just gonna build literally the the, the bare minimum of a, of a craft here. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is actually kind of hilarious. Okay, and then we've got, we've got two little thrusters here. Okay, does this work? Here we go, we're taking off at a grueling pace here. Okay. All right, this is a terrible vehicle. Okay, perfect. All right, so we now know what doesn't work. Once we find out everything that doesn't work, all that will be left is what works. I have no lift forces because the wings that I have on this thing are not lift-based wings right now. They are purely control surfaces. So let's uh, expand this. I think we're going to keep getting bigger and bigger until we have something functional. But this is just as much about the journey as it is the destination. Let's see what kind of failures we can come up with on our way to the slowest possible uh, airplane. All right, so now you can see our lift is way in front of our center of mass. So I'm just going to move this back even more and then we move these back more towards the center see like now it's like i need more weight or actually no do i need to move this forward more but see now it's stupid now we got a stupid plane with the tail that isn't even separated from the wings but does it fly oh look at this we have our first flight. Okay, I really wish we had an altimeter in our gauge down the bottom left because otherwise I gotta put one on my vehicle and then I have to look at that gauge on my vehicle in order to see how high we are. But with this design right here, as we maintain altitude, ooh, ooh, you know what? I think I have a way to keep track of whether or not we are maintaining altitude. So I'm going to use a speed sensor. The speed sensor is facing down. So now if we exceed uh, 0.1 kilometers an hour in the down direction, those lights will activate. If we can maintain a balance between lights on and lights off, like I am right now. Wait, why is it? All right, I'm a little bit confused. All right, well, there's down and then here's up. Okay, uh, the speed sensor does weird things. But anyway, if we can keep turning the lights on and off, then I feel like that means we aren't always falling. Like right now, I feel like I'm gaining altitude. Right? I'm gaining altitude, but the lights are still on. This doesn't make any sense. If altitude up, if speed in the up direction, lights should not be on. All right. This idea doesn't work. We don't need the idea. We can just visually assess ourselves. All right. The fun thing about this challenge aerodynamics i don't think are that important because we want to actually have air resistance otherwise we're just gonna be uh too fast oh boy hold on let me get back to the carrier here it'll be easier to see if i'm just hovering above the carrier okay so with this craft right now which is our like first prototype you can see i'm maintaining altitude 
Uh, I say around 25 is when I'm not falling. I'm actually surprised at how slow I'm able to go in this thing. Although, I'm a little bit concerned about the rules here because... Although my thrust is technically in the direction of travel, when I'm angling upwards, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. I would ideally like to be a nice horizontal flight, but the uh, the forces of this vehicle are not accommodating that right now. Rather than just being super small and light, uh, bigger and more lift might actually be the best. So we're not only gonna add lift to the sides there, I'm gonna delete this tail, replace that, add another block, and we are gonna have to put some lift in the tail as well okay so now our weight is actually oh i have no thrust i have no thrust right now so what do i do for thrust for this one one mini thruster there one mini thruster there for symmetry mini thrusters are slightly powerful oh look how much more powerful they are okay i have way too much lift in the back apparently all right i think the solution is add more lift in the area where you need more lift or add more mass in the area where you need more mass. That actually might do it right there, putting the thrusters in the back. Whoa! Hold up, that was so satisfying. I don't think I've ever built a plane like, look at this, I'm just gonna press space. Do you see the thing lift off on its own? Whoa, this has so much lift. This is such a huge difference. 18 miles per hour. I think we're maintaining altitude. I cannot believe, I did not expect this to be a slow option. Like I didn't, I knew that we were gonna get slow, but like this feels so much slower than I thought possible. And I have control and everything. This is amazing. Like this meets all the qualifications. My direction of thrust is essentially in the downwards direction from the horizontal. So like, we are definitely not cheating on that area. I cannot believe this 14. I'm going to say 15 miles per hour is probably like the average that this thing can maintain altitude at. Okay, this is actually I'm learning a lot about trail makers with this. I've never really tried to go slow uh, this slow with lift. So learning how much of an impact this stuff actually has at slow speeds could be really useful. Especially when it comes to uh, combat things where you have to slow down and maintain altitude. Like just learning how effective some just more wings could be. So I do think weight is going to be a big factor here. Like we don't want to be very heavy so this thing can just lift up. So let's reduce weight where we can and uh, try to just make this thing as light as possible with as much lift as possible. Best of both worlds. So these blocks, these 2x4 blocks are 2.5 kilograms. I could go down to these which would be 1.2 kilograms for the same area. Area. So we're essentially having the uh, block weight here. I could make this better if I use the motorcycle seat because now I only need one bar in the middle, a single oh, single vertical tail fin. This is six kilograms. This is, wait, what? This is 4.6 kilograms. This is six kilograms. That is not what I was expecting. All right, what about if I use this? One kilogram. All right, this is our tail fin. All right, but how do I attach these? I put that there. I can do 0.3 kilograms out to the wing like that. I should have said, I don't need, right, I'm at 54 kilograms right now. I don't know what my previous build was at. I hope this is lighter because if it's not, it's not a good thing. My center of mass is too far forward. Ooh, ooh, what about this? What if I replace both of those mini thrusters? with a rock a single rocket thruster so we're lowering our thrust capabilities all right is that enough oh my goodness we are gaining altitude right now this thing flies so weird this thing flies unlike anything i've ever felt my lift in the back is too much like look at that look at this okay let's add more lift in the front what if i move the seat back in the middle all right now my lift is too far forward well, maybe not too far forward, but it is forward. There we go. If <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yep, lift is now too far forward. Well, I can actually attach a thruster right there and right there. That adds, that moves my center of mass forward a little bit. Now let's see. Wow, it's so, every little change is massive. The subtlest little things. It's around the same right now. I need more lift though. All right, I'll add one of these and then we can do uh, small flap wings. Whoa. What? Whoa. Okay, this is like kind of weird. Nine. Nine. 
I'm not German right now. I'm numbers. <laughs> Nine miles per hour. I might have to go to kilometers. They have the slightly more precision. Yeah, so now we just have a more fine-tuned meter here with more uh, more measurement points. What is this speed right here? 18. 18 kilometers an hour. I would love to be able to have a constant thrust going and dial in the speed to uh, like have an air brake or something that keeps me at the exactly the speed I need to be. Because obviously, it's, look at that. I'm going almost 100 is we have too much we have too much thrust all right land please landing is actually kind of hard in this thing land 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 please land there no land land i mean what do you what are you supposed to do with that too much thrust do these have a setting <gasps> they have a speed setting? Let's go uh, 0.25. Okay, wow. All right, this is also a factor, is liftoff requires more force than flight. So the 0.25 might work when I'm in the air, but just not before I'm in the air. What do I do about that? It may seem ridiculous now, but this is how we guarantee getting in the air and then maintaining flight. All right, so how slow can we go? So I feel like we're maintaining altitude right now but we're still at like 20. All right, I have a new goal now. All right, so these are going to be my flight thrusters. I'm gonna have separate thrusters for takeoff and separate thrusters for actually maintaining flight. All right, now we're way too back heavy, which means add lift to back. All right, I'm also adding these wedges because I need to add a little bit more weight to the front and also some aerodynamic resistance I'm actually doing up here. Okay, I have too much lift in the front now. All right, now the lift looks to be pretty even. Come on. Okay, here we go. The speed, I think, is is tracking our speed in all axes. So if I'm gaining altitude, that speed is being coupled with my horizontal uh, velocity as well. Like we're totally maintaining altitude right now. 13 kilometers. This is, this is a record. For kilometers an hour, this is a record. 15, 13 to 15 kilometers an hour maintaining height wow look how slow we're going this is crazy all right what if i hold out the thrust as much as i can i slow down there for a second all right so holding the thrust it's like 14 14 or 15 kilometers an hour okay that's our new record right now now i'm gonna lower this thrust we're at 0.25 right now i'm gonna go 0.15 and i don't know if that's gonna make a difference is the thing let's see okay okay this is interesting. If I can fly across this whole thing. 13. Wow. This is a plane. This is a plane. This has everything it needs to be a plane. And it's forward thrust. I just also am able to glide and save a lot of fuel. Look at this. Look at this. I can still go. I'm not falling. I am maintaining altitude. I say average 12 to 13 right now is what this thing is capable of. Can we get under 10 kilometers an hour? I would, that would be amazing if I can get under 10 kilometers an hour. I need more wind resistance. One kilo, 0.8 kilograms for a small aileron. Okay, this might be the best. So if we add some of these facing in this direction, that could be really good at slowing us down. My goal with this is to be able to give myself the ability to open up the throttle completely and be, be capped out at my speed due to wind resistance. So look at that. That's going to add a lot of wind resistance. The thing is, can we actually go now? All right, we're up. All right, full speed, full speed ahead. 11, 15, dang it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get under 10. 13 kilometers an hour. Like, can we go slower? I'm going to add more wings. I'm going to add more in the back, a lot more with these right here. There we go, the big ones. Uh, so now you can see my lift is way far back. And then I'm going to expand my wings in the front. So now my lift is pre looking pretty good. And then I just need more re resistance. All right, see now the problem is lift off. Let's have the one thruster in the back be our actual thruster. Since these are closer to my center of mass, we're gonna have our, our lift off power right here. All right, now we should have no problem lifting off. Look at that. All right, so we lift off and then we float. I've halved my thrust. What am I doing? I'm going sideways. Yeah, see, actually, it's because of those wings I put to try to stop my forward speed. Here we go. Nine, ten, eight. <gasps> we got under ten. We're maintaining less than ten kilometers an hour, and we are not falling in altitude. Being able to be over the land like this, this close to it, is such a 
easy it's just such a good way to evaluate if we're within the rules the thrust is not contributing to upforce whatsoever we are not losing altitude as you can see is this crazy to look at or what like just look at the speed we're going i wonder if i could add more air resistance and actually get some success here every single time i get a different angle it just looks ridiculous again like once i get used to it from one angle i look at a different angle and it's like wait we are still going that slow i love the motorcycle seat makes it so much better too because it looks like i'm just i'm just ready for speed on this motorcycle seat and i'm in the slowest thing imaginable right now so where can i add more of this right there i can also do that underneath all right we, ju we just need to add more lift now let's double up the wings biplane style this is definitely going to mess with my weight distribution a lot but i'm hoping i can balance it out see now i i feel like i might be starting to get some diminishing returns or harmful returns where i'm adding more mass so i'm gonna need more speed to get lift but i'm also just adding more lift so what's having a bigger impact the lift i'm adding or the mass i'm adding all right i have just added a ton more lift to this thing let's see how it feels whoa i can't lift off now all right hold on hold on there we go what what or oh, what oh my god look i'm i'm a crab i'm a plain crab this is crazy but my foot oh oh five 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 and six new record I, i'm full throttle right now and i am not losing altitude five kilometers an hour five kilometers an hour six kilometers an hour. i think five still works though it's the sideways that's getting me actually like i'm getting more speed to the side than i am going forward i think i need more vertical stabilizer to keep me going straight there we go actually this looks kind of cool it doesn't actually look that bad for an airplane the amount of air force oh we're getting down to four. Oh, this pumping action though we got to go smooth i don't know you can really do better five like i think i'm comfortable at saying five right now is our bet look at this we're caught we, we've we've leveled out we are stable at five we've got the thrust open and we are maintaining altitude perfectly fine all i'm touching is the space bar right now i'm not touching any other controls all of the little tilts you're seeing are just its natural way of uh navigating the air i think we're going four right now to be honest I think we're going four forward and like a little bit to the side and the, see now I'm going faster sideways. I'm going sideways and it's actually making me faster. <sighs> How do I get rid of that? I need more, I need more vertical stabilization, but just to prevent me from going sideways or something. I'm going to try something here. Oh no, this is, this is a bad idea. I think these are going to be powered, simple tail fins because these are going to be highly resistant to sideways motion. See, more mass also makes it easier for you to go faster. It makes you able to fight that wind resistance a little bit better. And I'm having a lot of trouble stabilizing out right now. I'm going to turn down the thrust. 0 0.15 to 0 0.1. This is all of my thrust active. And you can see I'm just going up. Come on, just slow down. I can't even slow down if I wanted to, I don't think. Whoa! Do you see how much... Oh my goodness. I got so much speed when I tried to actually pitch up so I could not go forward as much. This is crazy. All right, I am trying to slow down and I can't even slow down like below six right now for some reason. See, look at this. Without those tails on, now I'm already going down to four. All right, you know what? I really, I cannot imagine getting slower than this and still being following the laws of physics here. I mean, this is already breaking enough, like breaking enough of the physics intuition i think five i'm gonna say five or four is the slowest possible aircraft with the limitations that you can only have horizontal thrust and you have to be able to maintain altitude with only uh wings as your upwards lift this is what it feels like to fly the slowest airplane uh i can build uh i want to see what first person looks like yeah this is what first per i'm a crab i'm a crab right now it's fastest as a crab if you go sideways, you're just a lot faster. All right, Zappo, I hope that answers your question. Funny enough, somebody else actually did answer the question saying, pretty sure five kilometers an hour. I don't know how they did it. If they followed the same rules I did, it seems that we came to the same result. So I think five kilometers an hour. May I think four could be passing. It's just hard to maintain uh, below five because of the pumping action. So I'm curious uh, if anybody else can get slower. 
and follow the rules still without glitching things out. I'd, I'd prefer not to use glitches because I feel like you're just cheating if you're especially if you're trying to follow a, the rules of a particular challenge to get the game to work in a certain way. So yeah, is, is it possible to get an aircraft to fly consistently below five miles per hour with only horizontal thrust, wings for lift, and uh, maintaining altitude. Because right now, this is peak performance. This is what it looks like right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find it right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.